The member from uh, Windsor West. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community and Social Services. Since the budget, like others, I've been out in my riding speaking to constituents. During these tough economic times, many were concerned that our government would be making cuts that would hurt them, that would hurt our families, especially those that need our help the most. Like the previous government, who cut social assistance rates by over 22%. Through you, Speaker, to the Minister, can you please tell the House how this year's budget, Strong Action, impacts social programs for people in my riding? Good question. Minister. Good question. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the, uh, the member for the question, and uh, uh, she's right, Mr. Speaker. The recent budget, we had to make some tough decisions, but uh, to reiterate what both the Premier and the Minister of Finance have said often, we uh, focused on three key areas, education, health care, and the other one, the area of social services. Unlike uh, the party opposite, Mr. Speaker, we did not dramatically slash rates for those on ODSP or Ontario That's Works. Right. In fact, Mr. Speaker, over the life of this government, we've seen seven increases to those rates the and they were maintained in the recent budget. I'd also point out, Mr. Speaker, that moving forward, when you look at what's called the Children and Social Services cluster in the budget, it's actually going to increase by an average of 2.7 per cent over the next three years. In wow. fact, my ministry, Mr. Speaker, will be increasing by 3.7 per cent. We, re we recognize the needs of those who are marginalized, the less fortunate in our society, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to continue Answer. to identify that area as a special priority for this government Thank as you. we move forward. Commentary. Thank you, Minister. I'm pleased to hear that we won't be punishing some of the province's most vulnerable, cut, uh, vulnerable with cuts to social assistance rates. I also know that the social assistance system is currently being examined by the Social Assistance Review Commission, so I look forward to seeing their report in June as I was involved with some of those, uh, those meetings in our community. Speaker, I was also pleased to see that this year's budget allocated an additional $25 million for residential placements for adults with a developmental disability. Please explain how this investment will help those in need of service across the province. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I thank the member for the question, and I'm pleased that she uh, referenced the Social Assistance Review, which is uh, undertaking one of the most uh, dramatic examinations of our social Francis assistance Lankin. system in uh, decades, Mr. Speaker, being led by Francis Lankin, a former member of this legislature, as well as Dr. Munir Sheikh, the former head of StatsCan. As well as the social assistance side of, uh, of uh, the ledger, Mr. Speaker, my ministry, of course, also deals with those uh, uh, with developmental disabilities. As the member pointed out, Pointed out, our most recent budget committed an additional $25 million for people with a developmental disability in urgent need of residential services. This additional funding is based on anticipated need for residential placements for our clients, some who live with aging parents who can no longer care for their adult children at home. This funding and the placements it creates will also help Answer. support the ongoing transformation of the developmental services sector as we continue to move away from the old Very institutional model to Very one that's based on community living. Question.